The great thing about biometric authentication is that you don't get any access to fingerprints, face scans, or other secure information. Instead, the system does all the authentication for you, which keeps both your app and users safe. More importantly, users trust it. They know that Touch ID and Face ID are highly secure systems that guarantee security in our apps, so it immediately makes our apps feel both more personal and more safe. Now remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, add a done button as a navigation bar button item that causes the app to relock immediately rather than waiting for the user to quit. This should only be shown when the app is unlocked. Second, create a password system for your app so that the fallback for Touch ID or Face ID is more useful. You'll need to use an alert controller with a text field like we did in Project 5, and I suggest you save the password in the keychain. And third, go back to Project 10, Names to Faces, and add biometric authentication so the user's pictures are shown only when they've unlocked the app. You need to give some thought to how you can hide the pictures, perhaps leave the array empty until they are authenticated.